Now, um, you said that we had a disagreement in one video. We don't have any disagreements. The thing is, we have two different perspectives. When I say I see a lot of white people blaming other races for things, this is what I see physically. This is what I hear. I'm not saying every white person does this. I'm seeing a lot more white people do this. Those who are hurting and suffering, I see them do this, but not put the blame where the blame should be. Every black person's got to step up for their self. Yes, your ancestors put roadblocks in front of us. They put laws in front of us to hold us back. They put barriers, physical barriers, that are physically, we can see barriers put in front of us by quote-unquote white people. And these same barriers placed upon black people now affect the lower-end white person, thus throwing them into a mental frenzy. Can you feel me? That's what I'm saying. I'm only speaking on what I see and experiences that I went through in life. I can't speak for you, how you feel about certain black people, but I know if you live in a certain part of America and you see black people doing certain things, I know that this group of black people are gonna look exactly like that stereotype that you were told to look for. But if you were told to look some, for something inside white people, how would you classify these white people? Wiggers, poor white trash, Oh, hunkies, crackers. What would you classify somebody white that you believe is the stereotype of what you heard that a white person is? And what if you were a person that sees a group of white people acting in this way, shape, or fashion every day? What are you led to believe? What are you led to believe when you see somebody call you a nigger and spit on the ground and show you the same activity that they're accusing you of, of being? What, what if you see this in your lifetime? What then do you believe? And is everything that you see believable? Everyone is placed into a situation. How they get themselves out of these situations is how they change. I met this one guy when I was working at the fairgrounds. His whole body was covered with KKK skinhead tattoos, iron crosses and everything on We're pitching out stalls with pitchforks. That's slinging shit stuck to straw. Everybody was scared of this man. And I went right in that same stall, stood next to him and began to work with him. To this day, me and this man are good friends. Choices you make when you're in certain situations put you in position to appear or to be a certain way. This man with all this hate tattooed all over his body knew more black people in the community than I did. But when you spend 75% of your life in prison, when you spend your life seeing certain things with your eyes, then what are you led to believe? You can say, Al Sharpton, oh, he's a racist. Oh, you can say Martin Luther King was a racist because they've seen white people do atrocities to their people in their lifetime. They read about it. I hear white people talking about, we were slaves too. Who enslaved white people? Other white people, right? Was they black? Hold you underfoot for so long that you, when you got your foot up, you flipped the script on us. Is that what happened? This is still recent history. That's why black people revert to what happened to slavery. Because they still feel the effects. When you complain about crime in black neighborhoods, how black people do this and black people do that, not just you, other white people. I've heard people do it. The other day, I got a mohawk. I'm walking down the street. I shit you not. I'm on my way to the doctor's office. I finally lucked up and got somebody to check me out. I'm walking to the doctor. I see a woman in a wheelchair, electric wheelchair. I'm walking. I 
not because I have to because I sold my car. Don't need it. Don't want it. So I'm walking to the doctor and I look at this lady. I said, hi. She looked at me straight in the eyes because I got a mohawk. She says, fuck you, illegal. This is a white woman in a wheelchair. Could have slapped her ass out that wheelchair and watched her roll around on the ground like something that shouldn't be on the ground. I could have did that. Young kids nowadays do that. I'm 40 years old. Young person would have beat the shit out of her. Because young people don't have enough compassion to say to anybody, let alone just somebody walking by, hi, hello. But that's the respect I get from white people. I was working at McDonald's. Older white guy walked up to me, spit on the floor, Lugie Green. Pick that up, boy. Come on. They've marched on my school before. I have seen it in my lifetime. That's why when people try to control people with fear, it backfires. Whenever someone uses one thing to control someone, it inevitably backfires. And then, the fear and control. What happened to all those years and hundreds of years of beating people? It's so worn off. People don't give a damn no more. And the people that was used to do all the vicious things are now in the exact same boat. Mentally, that destroys a whole entire group of people. Their power's gone. They're just as lowly as these niggas. Who did that to him? Same people that told him to beat the niggas in the first place. The same people that enslaved them. Their own people. So please, there's only more of you because there's more of you to put in the ovens in the end. That's what they gonna do to their own people. Yeah, of course they gonna kill lots of blacks. Lots of Mexicans. They're going to kill a lot more whites. See, this new world order is for real. They get all these poor people in a frenzy. And then they kill all the people based on, oh, he's a hate group. He's a, he don't like whites. He don't like blacks. We can't have those guys around here. They're going to kill all of you. You are expendable now. And you're feeling the heat. Don't worry about it. It's okay. The New World Order got a place for all races. And a place is going to be in a place. And then those people in the big glass towers, they're going to be your people. Some of them going to be my people. Because it's going to be selected. Now they're just going to select the cream of the cream of the cream of the crop. You better hope you're alive to be one of their slaves. Because they're going to do... Woo! It's going to go bad. And those who speak unintelligently won't have a chance. You said I came off ignorant, but look at it. Look at the facts, man. You know that song I did? I'm going to put a song out especially for you. I cut that song. I cut the end of the song off because people would not have understood what I was about to say. I said some foul things about your ancestors. Mainly about what they did to you. You forcing your affliction and your pain on my people and you can't understand the truth when somebody telling it to you? Please, I'm not mad at nobody white. I'm mad at the white man's master. Because he done fucked up a whole bunch of shit. Now, it's all on me to fix it. Ooh, when the black people do it. Ooh, the blacks. Oh, ah, ooh, the blacks. Oh, no. There's just as many white people doing crime as black people. There's just as much as bullshit as everywhere. But it's just more white people. So I don't see how come white people can't see it when everybody else can so some of you get treated bad by your own people. You know, just face it. Just don't blame me no more. And you still tubed. 